to a gruesome story out of Massachusetts. The manager of the morgue at Harvard Medical School is accused of stealing human body parts from cadavers and then selling them. And these are cadavers donated for medical research. He now faces federal charges, and News 4's Chris Glorioso is in the newsroom now with new information on this. Chris. Adam, the federal prosecutor in this case called the alleged harvesting of body parts appalling and said it's even more egregious because so many of the victims volunteered their remains for the advancement of science and medicine. What do you have to say about these charges? Former Harvard morgue manager Cedric Lodge silent as reporters ask about the shocking charges. Federal prosecutors say for five years, Lodge stole body parts that were donated to Harvard Medical School. But after medical research was done, instead of cremating the human tissue, the morgue manager is accused of stealing body parts, driving them to his home and selling them. Don't do that. You don't take somebody's body parts and sell them. Did you really try oh, and sell man. human oh, remains on the black market? Man. Katrina McLean of Salem, Massachusetts, is one of the alleged tissue buyers. Court documents say she purchased dissected human faces for $600 and shipped human skin to a man in Pennsylvania to have the skin tanned. McLean's attorney spoke briefly to reporters. She's never been in trouble before, and obviously this is very distressful. She just wants to be home with her family. Charges for trafficking in human body parts, though shocking, are not unheard of. Back in 2008, Michael Master Marino, a New Jersey doctor, was sent to prison for harvesting body parts from hundreds of cadavers, then selling the tissue to be used in transplant patients. If bodies of the deceased were scheduled for funeral home viewings, Master Marino would insert PVC pipe to replace the missing bones. You have to say about these charges, sir. This Back in New England, case. some of the family members of deceased individuals who donated their bodies to Harvard Medical School are now learning about the alleged scheme to steal human remains and profit from their sale. It's like a dream, you know what I mean? It's like not real. Paula Peltanovich and her sister Darlene Lynch are stunned after their father's body parts were among those allegedly stolen and sold. Their mother's body was also donated and they want her back. I don't want them to touch my mom. I mean, can you blame me? I mean, seriously, it's just the whole thing's wrong. In all, a group of seven buyers and sellers have been charged in the scheme to sell Harvard Medical School body parts. A statement from Harvard said the allegations are an abhorrent betrayal of the school. By the way, an update on that New Jersey doctor convicted in 2008 for stealing bones and other tissue. He died in custody of brain and bone cancer in 2013. Back to you. Disturbing allegations, Chris. Thank you.